Hello, friend, and welcome back to the channel. This prophetic word comes from Joellen Stevens, Connorsville, Indiana, the Triple Anointing. I had an interesting dream from the Lord. I've prayed for a couple of days, and this is how the Lord unveiled it. In the dream, we were in a house. There was a woman whose name was Irene in real life. She went to the church, which Doug and I pastored at for several years. She was elderly when she came to our church. She passed away a few years ago. Well, in this dream, I went outside this house and went to the house of a man named Thomas. He asked me to come back and visit with the rest of the people in the house next door. So I went back. I asked Irene if she wanted to go there. She said yes, so for some reason, Irene then turned into a good-sized baby. I picked her up in my arms and took her next door. The gentleman next door came to the door. He said he had to go back in and get ready for us to enter. And as we entered... I noticed there were three gentlemen, all sitting. They looked very similar. They all had freshly ironed, crisp pajamas. Then I took Irene over to meet them, and when I did, I couldn't remember her name. Finally, I said her name's Lily, Lily May. And she said, yes, that's my name. And a dream. God told me it was not as much about what or who the people in this dream were, but it was in the names. And that, this is the key to the dream. So the name Irene means peace and serenity. The name Thomas means twins. But in this case, there were triplets in the pajamas. The name Lily, it means a rebirth, which is what happened in this dream when Irene turned into a baby again. In the dream, I was carrying the baby to meet Thomas, who was now triplets, all without spot or wrinkle. All the people in the dream were in their 70s or 80s. I believe God is saying, there is a resurrection and a rebirth that is about to take place in this country, especially among those who are elderly, who have ministered to others. There are many who began a work in others, as in me ministering to Irene so many years ago. And you thought the dream died, but there's a rebirthing, a resurrection taking place into that which you sown into. This time, you will take them to the place of perfection. And there will not only be a double portion of the newly resurrected church, but there will be a triple portion. This will be a catalyst of the ushering in of peace. That's Irene. And that will overflow into the resurrection life and the rebirthing of the church without spot or wrinkle. That is the true church in the last days. Hallelujah. Lord, I thank you that our, the seeds that we sow are never in vain. Thank you, Lord, that just like our sister Joe Ellen, Father, you're also revealing to us what seeds we've sown. Friend, you may be old, you may be young. One thing we know, that anything you've sown for the Lord will not come back void. It will not leave you empty. God never leaves us high and dry. Why would he start now? Lord, I thank you, whether it's double or triple, we'll take it all. In your timing, Father, get me what I need. Get my friend what my friend needs. Lord, that no matter... No matter what we need, peace and serenity, rebirth, or in this case, we need more than enough, Father. Thank you, Lord, and may it be unto us according to your word. In Jesus' mighty name, amen and amen.